Okay, so this is a very quick and simple demonstration of surface tension. I have a petri dish here filled with deionized water. It's a little difficult to see the surface of the water, um, but if I pound on the counter here, you can see that ripples move through the surface and you see a change in the reflection there. Um, and what I'm gonna do is use these tweezers to pick up this paper clip. Um, and this paper clip is made of iron. Iron is denser than water, so we would expect the iron paper clip to sink to the bottom. But if I drop it very carefully under the surface, it floats. Um, and I can show you that it floats by moving it around with this magnet. We see that it can move pretty much freely on the surface. Um, and the reason that it floats uh, is because the surface tension of water is keeping it afloat. There is an adherence between the water molecules that creates a, a, a tension that is able to support this weight. Um, but what I can do is disrupt that hydrogen bonding network by taking a little bit of Dawn dish soap, which I have here in this tiny, tiny beaker. Um, and I really only need a drop. I'm gonna take a drop of this and bring it into contact with the water. And the paper clip sinks because the surface tension is disrupted. And just to show you, you know, if I try to move the paper clip with this magnet again, it is really sunk down to the bottom. It's not able to move as freely or, or really at all compared to when it was floating.